Welcome to part four of the Reflective Marbles. We're starting with our final marble. And we're going to outline this marble, the entire edge, with Pit 165 Juniper Green. This is a nice neutral green that will go well with the other colors in our painting. For the inside areas at the top of the marble, we're going to use a new color we haven't used before. This is Pit 172 Earth Green. It's kind of a gray green, which is just perfect for this area. So I'm avoiding the white highlights and coloring in this area above the first band of color. Using my Carbothello 100 white to glaze a bit of white color over this gray green to kind of mute it and uh, it also helps to fill in the tooth as we've talked about earlier in this project. This lightens the color when, and this particular area on the marble is where the strongest highlights are. I'm adding a bit of darker color now with the Pit 165 Juniper Green. I'm outlining the highlight area and filling it in with the 100 Carbothello White. Now I'm using, uh, to fill in the bottom area of that highlight, I'm using the Derwent P370 Pale Spectrum Blue. I'm putting a little bit over the earth green that we applied the white to earlier. Just kind of tints it a little bit. The 50 black to outline the top edge of the marble just a little bit then I'm going to take the 172 earth green and shade underneath the first blue band
I'm using my Carbothello 100 to outline the top of the blue band and also to draw an outline around the secondary highlight at the top of the marble. Using the Durwind P330 Cerulean Blue, I'm going to color in the first blue band. This is a beautiful, brilliant blue. We'll be modifying the color later with other colors. So just flat color this in with your pencil. Color about halfway and blend with your blender. Use the Carbothello 440 to add a little triangular shape underneath the cerulean blue. And use the 440 to add color to the other two little shapes. And fill in in between with the 330 cerulean blue. After filling in the stripe with the cerulean blue and blending it, take your pit 151 Prussian blue and add darker color along the upper edge of the stripe and blend this with your blender. Use the Conte number 10 ultramarine blue to add a brighter blue color and also to smooth out the color that's underneath at the bottom of the stripe. This is just the bottom area and blend with your blender. I'm adding a little more cerulean and I'm going to blend these together. It looks really pretty. Now I'm taking a little more dark blue darkening it up just a little bit more. Now 
add more cerulean blue with your Derwin pencil as necessary. I'm adding a little more dark blue with the 151 Prussian Blue Pit Pastel Pencil down at the bottom edge. Just a little. I'm using my white Carbothello to lighten the little highlight shapes within the blue band. Now I'm using my Pit 165 Juniper Green to add the dark green shape at the top of the blue band. And over that, I'm going to use the Conte Number no. 10 Ultramarine Blue to have a nice blue highlight and a little bit of 151 Prussian Blue at the very bottom. Subtle but important changes. I'm adding a little more ultramarine blue to the outer edge and finger blending it. This is the 151 Prussian Blue. I'm adding some dark accents and I'm glazing my 750 Carbothello black over that uh, blue to darken it in areas. I'm adding accents uh, back and forth between the blues, the different blues, and black. Now I'm using the 172 Earth Green to fill in the base gray-green coat above the next blue band that we're going to paint.
use pit 172 earth green to color underneath the very narrow strip of blue on your marble. Color in some of the other areas in the marble with the pit 172 earth green. And then we're going to use your pit 165 juniper cream to add darker colors around the edges. Now there's a little air bubble on the side, so I drew it with the white, marked it off with the white Conte pencil 100 and now I'm drawing a dark line around it with the pit 165 juniper green and then using the white Conte pencil to add a bright highlight and to lighten the left side of the air bubble just a little bit. It kind of looks like a dew drop. I'm using my black 750 to darken the edge and underneath on the left side of my marble. I'm using my 440 to draw little highlight areas into the blue band of the marble at the top. It's going to add to the effect of glass. Draw in the next little, very thin little line with Conte tin. ultramarine blue and darken it with 151 pit Prussian blue. Use the pit 151 to draw in the other dark little stripe as well. For the right side of that small little strip, use the Cerulean Derwent 330 to color in that little piece. And we're going to outline it with 151 Pit Prussian Blue. Add a highlight in the middle with your 100 Carbothello white pencil.
add the next stripe with pit 151 Prussian blue and fill it in with cerulean 330 Derwent pencil. Finger blend it. I'm also using my Conte number 21 pencil, which is the green blue to add a little color right there in the middle of the marble. I'm going to make that a little darker above the blue by shading it with my 165 Juniper Green. Darken the blue band with the Pit 151 Prussian Blue. Blend it with your finger. Use Cerulean Blue, number P330 Derwent Pencil to color the next band on the marble. Color in the whole portion on the right, but use your 440 Carbothello pencil to lighten. It's really two stripes blended into one. So we're going to lighten the one with the 440 Carbothello pencil. And then we're going to darken the one underneath with the Pit 151 Prussian Blue. Finish filling in the stripe on the left side with the Cerulean 330 Derwent pencil and then use the 440 Carbothello to color over that on the far left hand side after you put in the Cerulean. And blend with your finger or your blender. Darken up any areas that you need to with your pit 
Juniper 165 pencil or the Pitt 151 Prussian Blue. Here I'm adding some cerulean blue just above into the gray green that we applied earlier. Adding the last stripe on the bottom with the Derwent P330 Cerulean Blue. Now I'm using the 151 Pit Prussian blue to darken the blue on the stripe just above it. Now I'm shading some darker blue over the cerulean blue that we added previously. I'm going to use the Carbothello 440 Sky Blue to lighten the area just underneath the middle stripe on this final stripe that we're painting. I'm using the Pitt 165 Juniper Green to add dark green to the side of the blue marble. And blend that with a little blender. Evening up the line with the dark green. Adding a little black to the air bubble, outlining it, make it more prominent. And I'm using my 100.5 Rembrandt white to add the brightest white on the highlight. Use 165 Juniper Green to cover in, to color in all of the dark bottom area with dark green. And after we've applied the dark green, we're going to go over that with 151 Prussian Blue to fill in this shape.
outline this bottom shape with the 100 Carbothello white and also a line of 750 black right above the white and underneath the white. After filling it in with a 151 Prussian Blue, use your black 750 Carbothello to go over the area as well and smooth out and even out those dark colors. And they all mix together to make a lovely dark, which is much more complex than just using black by itself. Use a small piece of Rembrandt 700.5 black pastel to make even darker accents at the very bottom of the marble. Use a Rembrandt white to make little bright white highlights in the dark area of the marble. The last little section of our marble, color that in with 172 earth green. It's a nice gray green. Glaze a little 100 white Carbothello over the gray-green lightly with your pencil.
Then take the 750 black and outline the bottom of the marble. Add a little shadow under the marble with Pit Pastel 165 Juniper Green. It's the darker of your Pit Pastels. And then use Carbothello 575 Leaf Green to add some more color underneath that. And blend that with your finger. After adding the green, I'm going to add some Rembrandt 570.9 Thalo Blue, which reflects the sky, actually, into the water that's on the table that the marbles are sitting in. And I'm going to blend this with my finger. I'm going to add some gray with Carbothello 704 pastel pencil And I'm darkening underneath a little further with Carbothello 770, which is Payne's Gray. I'm using the um, white Carbothello 100 pencil to add some bright white highlights in front of the marble. This represents the light that's coming through the marble onto the tabletop and is reflected in the water. Another green that I'm using in this project is the Pit 273 Warm Green. It really is a gray and it works beautifully with the other colors we've used in this project. 
Join me in part five as we finish the water in the foreground in this painting of the beautiful reflective marbles.